And the reason they made me feel sad is not because of my acne, but because I just realized like, wow, people care a lot more than I do. Oh God, I have no idea if I look crazy or not. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. That's something I'll have to find out. Hi guys, it's Lucy here. Um, I cut and dyed my hair to its like original color. I don't know what's going on with it. I really don't. Um, it does look a bit weird because it's like fully blow dried and straightened. It's not usually like this, but we will keep moving, you know? <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about something that is really important to me. Um, and I think that a lot of people will be interested in and hopefully may be able to help some people. So my first video, the skincare by Hiram stuff, is kind of what brought some people to my channel and I'm so grateful about that. And let me tell you, I have learned so much since I uploaded that video about everything, about myself, about other people, I guess. Well, there's only so much you can learn about other people, you know, I'm not in their heads. Um, but just like, I don't know, maybe I've just learned a lot about myself and I just, you know, am beginning to be so comfortable I like think I can read other people's minds. Um, but I just thought this video may be helpful to some people and I really hope it is. I'm gonna be talking about how to deal with acne and like the problems I've faced, kind of like things that have really, really, really helped me and uh, made me not really care that much about it anymore and um, stuff like that. So I, m my acne used to look like this. I'll put pictures on the screen. Um, as you can see, I still have some scarring. This lighting is really good and my skin is really calm right now, um, but usually it doesn't look like this. Usually it looks a bit more enraged, but this video is gonna just be about having severe acne um, not necessarily what I've done to, you know, fix it, even though probably some of the things that I'm going to be talking about have lowered my stress levels and maybe contributed to um, just calming my skin down. First, I'm going to be talking about, like, the, pro the major problems I faced kind of when I had, like, really severe acne. Then I'm going to talk about things that really helped, which I think is the, the most important part. This video is mostly gonna be about like mindset and stuff like that. It is a continual process. You can't solve anything in one day, let alone major mindset changes. Um, but as long as you're persistent and you just kinda learn to, or try your best, you can't really, you can't be 100% all the time. That's like gonna be a major theme throughout what I talk about hopefully. Oh my God, like why do I think this is like structured? I don't know. So. Firstly, let's jump right into it. <laughs> One thing that was a major problem for me that really knocked me down even when I was feeling good about myself when, you know, going through this process, um, especially a few months ago, was I would kind of have these maybe like a few days long or week long phases of kind of hyper fixations on certain parts of my skin that I really disliked. Um, and then other weeks I would be totally fine. And so I would just have a little bit of a back and forth um, of like, oh my God, I hate my skin. I hate this certain part of my skin. And then other weeks I wouldn't care. I would go back to my baseline of not really caring, I guess, which I'll talk about later because I think that's a really powerful thing. And it's a really, really good way to get yourself through the, the hard points. So. For example, um, some weeks I would just get convinced that I had like fungal acne or find something on the internet and just hyper focus on that way, be like, this will solve it. Like just not only hyper focus on parts of my skin that I disliked, but hyper focus on perceived solutions and stuff like that. I would really just like go all in on certain things. And in the end, whether or not that perceived like be all end all solution um, actually helped or not, it would hurt me in the end. It would raise my stress levels. I would be like, why isn't this working? Why isn't, it, why isn't this working? And also just 99% of the time, one thing will not solve everything. So that's a problem I really had. As it pertains to like physical, things that I hyper-focused on 
and I just absolutely hated that certain day or something like that. It was really challenging for me because I would, if I saw anyone, even if I was talking to my mom, which is insane because obviously my mom's not sitting there scrutinizing every part of my face. Like no one is doing that, but your mom, like that just shows how kind of stressed out I was about the whole situation on some days. I would just be talking to anyone and I would think they were criticizing like I had some acne on my jawline. I still do have some and I would be sitting there thinking, oh, they're staring at it, they're staring at it and just really for some reason just hate that part of myself for like a day or like a week. And then I would just be fine and move on to the next thing. So that was a really bizarre experience for me. So the second major thing that was really an issue for me and um, this will lead on into like what helped and why I think I had a solid foundation to improve on how I feel about myself is the next problem, which for me was other people's opinions. Um, this is a very common experience, you know? Even if people have great intentions, you know, are, are super nice, even if they're super nice people, super kind, they have your feelings at heart. It's easy when you're in a kind of vulnerable place um, to kind of take things in a way different way than they were intended um, for you to take. I think this was a bit maybe elevated because I um, uploaded my skincare video. Um, that was honestly when my skin was not nearly as bad as it has been, or not bad. I, I don't want to use that kind, of, that kind of wording because it's not bad, it's just severe. Anyways, <laughs> that was when my skin was not nearly as severe as it has been in the past. And I uploaded that video. I didn't really have any second thought about it. I had no idea that people were gonna watch that video because I've been making YouTube videos like just kind of all throughout my life. None of them have ever gotten views. And I got so much helpful advice. Like seriously, so many people were so kind. Literally, I cannot express my gratefulness. I wake up every day, I check my YouTube and I'm like, oh my god, people are so kind. It just warms my heart. Like seriously, I can't express my gratefulness. But you know, mixed in there were a few things that honestly weren't meant to be mean. There were some just mean comments, you know, there are, that always happens. Mixed in there were a few comments that like were a bit like bordering on the edge of like backhanded, you know? And that, I feel horrible saying that. Like I feel like such an awful obnoxious person saying that because it's so bad to assume that somebody has ill intentions. Like I hate being that kind of person. I don't want to be that kind of person. Some people would say things like, I'm so happy you're confident enough to post this video and um, I would hate to have acne like that and stuff like that. More than anything, it just surprised me. I never looked at it that way. I never looked in the mirror and saw acne. You know, I kind of had tunnel vision um, and saw my features and I just didn't really care much and I still don't care much. Even if like certain weeks I feel worse than others, um, at the end of the day, I feel like I have and have had this ability to kind of like let it go, which is why some of these comments more than anything really surprised me. And the reason they made me feel sad is not because of my acne, but because I just realized like, wow, people care a lot more than I do. I just felt like I was kind of happy, you know, on my own. I, I don't really know how to describe it, but the mental image I had was just me being kind of like carefree over here. And then just people like pushing it on my, on my little bubble, you know? I, get, I don't know if that's, I don't know why I felt that way. Almost like I felt like my mindset was a bit like, pl not plagued because again, they didn't have bad intentions, um, but in a way kind of my mindset was being like plagued by people caring more than I did, you know? And so that was a big problem for me. Um, but I kind of was able to get over it. Um, because what I'm about to talk about next, because of that mindset. So, enough rambling. 
<laughs> maybe if you're in the same situation as I am or have been in the past, maybe you've been able to relate to some of the things I've been talking about. But now on to the important part, um, which is what has helped me? Um, because it's a difficult thing to deal with. It's, it's a mental struggle more than anything. The problem is, the problem is the f within the physical, but it really is a mental struggle. I think from the get-go, I had a powerful sort of strategy for dealing with it. Um, I think I had a positive sort of mindset, or I, I think I have still, hopefully, a positive sort of mindset about my skin and my appearance and stuff like that. I think it derives from self-worth, which is really interesting because I think I have very little self-worth. Um, I have very little confidence. Like, I am, I am very much an introvert. I get so nervous when I'm talking and stuff like even sometimes when I'm talking to a camera like maybe you'll be able to tell sometimes I'm like questioning everything I say. But when it comes to my appearance, I have always had an ability to an ability. Uh, whatever. I've always had sort of an ability to like just let it go in a sort of way which is way easier said than done but i'll talk about it like for example even when my acne was at its most severe i would like let people take pictures of me and post them on the internet which is so superficial to say like wow i think i'm cool because i let people post pictures of me on the internet no that's not what i'm saying um but i know that a lot of people when they're feeling like insecure about physical attributes like can be very like controlling over what's posted on the internet um, because I was so like that in middle school and I didn't even, there was, there was nothing wrong with me. There was nothing abnormal um, about me in middle school, but I was still, you know, controlling and scared. I felt like people were gonna judge me. And I think reflecting back on the way I felt in middle school, for example, um, is one of the main reasons that I'm able to sort of like let it go. I think there are two main reasons why I'm sort of able to let it go and let people post pictures of me and let people say what they want to say because at the end of the day it doesn't really matter, you know? It's just physical. First main reason, like I said, reflection on the past. Um, like I said, back in middle school there was nothing like abnormal about me. I just had so much insecurity, so little self-worth, that I was so concerned about people judging me and stuff like that, or people posting pictures that I looked bad in and stuff like that. That made me realize if I am looking back on pictures that at the time I hated, I thought I looked so ugly, awful, disgusting, revolting. If I'm looking back now at those pictures and thinking, wow, I didn't look bad at all. If anything, I look fine. If anything, I look decent, then maybe I'm not the problem because in a few years, I'll be looking back on me now and thinking, I look fine, you know? It, it's really, it wasn't a big deal. It's really not a big deal. And I think thinking like that really helped me because I feel like back when I was in middle school, I was so inclined to hate myself just because of like my tiny, teeny, tiny amount of self-worth that probably stemmed from like culture, societal culture and stuff like that. But I kind of came to realize that maybe, you know, I'm not the problem. The standards imposed on me are the problem. And secondly, I think this one is the most major um, contribution to my mindset and stuff like that. I am very fortunate. I have a very, very excellent mother um, who is very, independent, headstrong, just just a great person um, to be with and to admire. <laughs> From when I was little, she always emphasized the, the importance of kind of intuitive intelligence, really. Like, she is no... It's kind of difficult to describe because I don't want to describe her as someone who's like, you have to get 100% of your math tests or it's over. Um, no, that's not what I mean. She very subtly just taught me the importance of your brain. That your brain is a beautiful organ. Oh my god, is your brain an organ? But at the same time, um, she really like emphasized to me, everyone deserves to feel good about themselves. And so I think I grew up with a really healthy balance 
of finding a lot of self-worth in um, with how I present myself intuitively, um, as well as just being, feeling good in my own skin. Um, even though I do think I'm a very um, insecure person. So it's kind of interesting how like this continues to develop. Um, I'll let you know in like 60 years if I have any better advice. Um, but I think to a certain extent, everybody thinks they're worse off than they actually are. But anyways, having grown up with such a, I think, good mix of the two really gave me a steady platform to stand on because I've always been able to let things go. So knowing that, you know, now when things happen, um, to a certain extent, I'm just able to say, you know what, it doesn't really matter. Um, and I don't really know how to articulate it, but I don't know if that's just um, my mental nature. I don't know if that was my nurture or my upbringing. Um, but at the end of the day, the only thing that matters is having a good quality of life. And if you place so much importance on things that won't matter in 10 years, then that can really stunt your ability to have a long-term positive quality of life. And I feel like having that be your baseline has been a really powerful tool, tool for me. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. I honestly feel, I don't know if anything one that I just said has made any sense, but I do feel a little, like all my cards are out on the table. Like I feel a little, like a weight has been taken off my shoulders. I feel like I've communicated myself, if that makes sense. Not even communicated a point, but I've kind of articulated who I am sort of. So I really, really hope that anything in this video helped you. Um, I pray it did. You deserve to feel good about yourself. You deserve to love yourself. Like it might sound cringe, but honestly, like it is important. And all that matters about living is having a good quality of life. Really all that needs is appreciating who you are, the people you have in your life, um, if you're able to, and stuff like that. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Again, I really hope it helped. I love you. You're the best. Keep being epic. Um, whatever you want to do today, make sure to go do it. You can do it, but if you don't feel like doing it, that's fine too. Um, it's just as important to do nothing. Take it from me. I don't do anything. All I do is watch Love Island. Um, so yeah. Bye!